Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. On this Vivian Tries, I have for you a brand new As Seen on Television product. Today, we're trying Active Glow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new face brush that's going to take all of the imperfections off your face. Do we want that? <laughs> the revolutionary new cleansing tool with activated charcoal infused bristles. Active Glow is a facial cleaner that you use to take off like oil, makeup, dead skin, imperfections is what they're promising. Active Glow gently cleanses and draws out impurities, leaving your skin radiant, fresh, and glowing. Get it all off your face because, believe it or not, you can use those makeup remover wipes. You can wash your face after that with your hands, you know, just like this. Scrub it real good. Your face is still not clean, believe it or not. So these little brushes that they sell are very helpful. Now, some people will say don't use them every day because you get little micro tears. I understand it's not for every day, but you're gonna be shocked how much makeup is left on your face if you don't use something like this to take it off even after you've wiped your face with some sort of makeup remover and then washed it there's still makeup on your face, you guys. Is washing your face actually getting your skin clean from all the makeups, creams, and oils? I have here tons of these brushes, okay? And then my new one, because I love them. I have the original Clarisonic Mia 2, which I've, my daughter and I have had forever. This, to me, was way too expensive. And then you gotta buy the replacement brushes that are way too expensive. So to me, I'm gonna say don't buy this. Buy one of these little, this is an Olay brush that I bought for like 19 bucks. It's my favorite. I have used it forever. Challenge that with an instrument that cleanses as effectively as what's sold by skin professionals for a whole lot less. Olay Pro X Advanced Cleansing System. It takes two little batteries. There's no charging, there's no nothing. It comes with an additional brush head, I absolutely love it. But then I saw this one and that commercial was so impressive because the esthetician on there. As a medical esthetician, I absolutely recommend this active glow. Says your face is gonna look bomb. I mean, the girl in the infomercial, her wrinkles even went away. She buffed that shit out of there. Look at the visible difference after just one use. Did I see that wrong? What'd you think? In this video, I have a full coverage foundation on and lipstick and mascara and all that good stuff. So what we're gonna do here, I have two bowls of water. One side of my face, we're going to take off the makeup with makeup remover first. Then we will wash it with this face wash. Then we're gonna use this brush on this side of the face and then this brush on this side of the face. Once we're done with the brushes, we're going to wipe my face with a clean white rag to see which of the two actually got all the makeup off of my face. I use this cute little one multiple times per week and I love it. I know it takes every bit of makeup off of my face, so I'm curious to see about this one. Both of these are about the same price, $19.99. This Clarisonic, get out of here. That thing, is, forget it. We're not even gonna talk about that. Don't spend over $100 for a facial cleansing tool. That thing is too damn expensive. Now, something that they did in the infomercial that I was like, that works. <laughs> Look, traditional washing left dirt and residue behind, while Active Glow cleaned and detoxified. They say under UV light, you can see the makeup residue that's left behind or the germs or the oil. I don't know what that is, but they sure are showing it to us glowing. Like you got all kinds of fungalitis on your face on the back of the packaging and in the infomercial. So I busted out my handy purple light, black light, whatever it is, it's purple to me. <laughs> but I think it's officially called the black light, right? I'm gonna shine it on my face afterward to see if I can see this. I wanna see this because that's pretty impressive if we're going from this to this with just this little brush, right? Now, let me bring you some tea. This little brush sure does look like the one from Proactive. Have you seen the one from Proactive? Does that not look like the same brush? 100%, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know if it's the same brush, but damn, it looks very similar. Now the Proactive brush sells for almost $60. I think it's like $55 or something. 
crazy. This thing is $19.99, so hopefully it works just as good and it takes all the shit off your face. Also in the infomercial, they promise it's gonna clear up your acne and all that. I don't know if that's the result of this exact brush or if that's just the result of better skincare. So I'm not reading too much into that, but I want it to just buff away the wrinkles <laughs> like that lady. <laughs> I don't really have breakouts that much. I'm a grown ass woman, that's why. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't matter because they're still a grown ass woman. As a matter of fact, I have something coming in like right here. <laughs> it's pulsing, so. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna test this one against this one to see if this is a little bit better. Now, the infomercial said this thing had a floating head. I don't know what the fuck that means, but this one doesn't float or nothing. It's just a regular little brush. I love it. It's cheap. I get it at CVS. The little refills are cheap. I think you can buy the little heads for like $6. You get two of them. That works. I take it in the shower with me, so it's water. Proof, I think, I don't know. <laughs> I take it with me in the shower and it works great. Something else that they did in the infomercial for this guy that I went, is that a trickety trick <laughs> that you're doing there? The girl at the end of the commercial, and they put this at the end, I don't know why. She wrote dirt on her hand with like, I guess an eyeliner, which I have here, I'll write dirt too. Then she grabbed a clean little cotton thing and she was doing this. Traumatized, that shit ain't coming off. But it was dry, it had no makeup remover, it wasn't wet, it didn't have soap, nothing. She was just doing this. And I'm like, okay, calm down. Don't rub your hand raw. But then, when she grabbed this guy, she turned it on and then magically it was wet and all kinds of goodness was on there to take that off. I'm like, why is this wet? But when you were using this, you didn't wet it or anything. Is that a trickety trick? Why did you do that? Because it came off with whatever you had on here that made it wet. I don't know if it was makeup remover or soap, facial wash or water or what, but it was not dry. So it's not a fair comparison if one is dry and one isn't. So we ain't doing all that. We're gonna test it with dry and dry to see what happens. We're gonna debunk that 30 seconds of the end of that video. If you've been looking at the proactive one, Maybe if this one works, you go for this one instead, right? Because Proactive is smoking something. I am not paying $60 for no Proactive nothing. I've never used Proactive. I don't know if that shit is bomb, but they sell the hell out of it. And they even said on Amazon that their Proactive little brush got some kind of award in 2018. So if this one's half the price, this is called Active Glow and that one's called Proactive. Does that mean anything? <laughs> That's a conspiracy theory, I don't know. The secret is Active Glow combines an innovative and gentle rotating brush to exfoliate dead skin while our activated charcoal bristles detoxify. So it has a rotating head. See here, it says it again, floating head. And our floating head and flush charcoal infused bristles contour through the curves of your face. Okay, this one contours too, I mean. I don't remember hearing a floating head on that one. Dual speeds, I guess two speeds. Mine has three speeds. You do need two AAA batteries. That's it, it's pretty freaking easy. Now is it waterproof? Can I take it in the shower with me? Ooh. Removing makeups and oils, leaving your skin fresh, radiant, and glowing. <laughs> Wet the proactive brush, press on once for low, Press it twice for high speed. Glide the active glow over your face in circular motion with light pressure for one to two minutes. Rinse face with warm water and pat dry. There is a note that says to use active glow only once per day to avoid over exfoliation. Do not hold active glow in one spot why am I gonna get a <laughs> am I gonna get a carpet burn on my face if I hold it like this? Like if you have a huge zit, zzz, if you just sit there, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna have a carpet burn on your face and you're gonna be like, what were you doing on the floor? <laughs> that's what they're gonna say. That's what I'm that's what I'm gonna say. Girl, hello. Keep it moving on your skin, see? And some people would say, do not use this every day. They're saying once a day, like don't do it morning and night. They're saying once a day is I. 
but I've heard that you should only use these a couple of times a week because micro tears. The ultra soft bristles are gentle enough even for sensitive skin. Estheticians watching this video, please clarify for us. Thank you very much. We appreciate your assistance. Now, the esthetician in the video was so nice. She like went above and beyond her job of just telling us that she recommends this in the video. She even acted out the shower scene <laughs> to show us that you can use it in the shower. Was that not the esthetician? Did the shower scene as well? That's the esthetician, I told you. <laughs> she got paid extra for that commercial, I think. So to insert the battery, you're gonna twist the back to unlock. Okay, they're at the bottom. Two AAA batteries. Okay, line up your little arrow again. Lock, okay. We're in place. I wonder if this thing is loud. Why do I feel like it's not in the right place? Okay, let me show you how loud this is so that we have something to compare it to. That's the low, medium, high. Pretty good, right? I love that one. I've already said it a thousand times. Okay, this one has two settings. Low, high, right? Is that what it said? Yeah. Okay, ready? So the first one is gonna be low. Oh, okay. High. Ooh. Do you see why you're gonna have a carpet burn on your face? Ooh, high. That was on high, let's do it on low. I do love the surface area. We're getting a lot of bristles on this one, more than this one. So for that, I'm gonna say I like it. And I like that it's so dense, right? This one, not so much. But this one, okay, so so far, I'm impressed. How do I order more of these little heads? That's what I wanna know. We recommend that you replace the little brush heads every 90 days, do not submerge in water. Keep for future reference. How do I get more heads though? For this one, I can just go to CVS or Walmart. It doesn't say how I can order more and it didn't say in the box either. So I guess you're screwed. Do I have to rebuy the whole damn packaging? No, sir. <laughs> no, no, I just wanna buy the little brush heads. I'm not rebuying this whole thing. Now you're trying to be proactive and charge me every 90 days and send me a box of shit I don't need. We ain't doing all that. So our first step on both sides of my face, I'm going to remove my makeup with just cotton squares and makeup remover. Then I will wash my face with our soap and our brushes to see. Let's start taking off makeup from both sides of my face. Now you guys are gonna see how much makeup I have on. I mean, look at that already. That's a lot of makeup. So that was my point, that even if you use two steps of washing your face, you really don't get your makeup completely off unless you use something that is exfoliating. Look at that. Your skin's dull or prone to breakouts. It could be from dirt, toxins, and makeup left behind. Two. So even if this active glow brush doesn't work, I would recommend some type of like little brush. Even if it's a manual one, it doesn't even have to be like a battery powered or electric one, but something to get all the makeup off your face. One of the things that I hate when they do these types of commercials is when they talk about In the first two weeks, my breakouts really started to clear up. I love this product. Oh, it cleared up my acne. Now, that doesn't have to do with the actual product, I wouldn't say, as much as just you're having better skincare, right? If you got a new gadget or a new little machine, you're probably excited and using it religiously and using it. So it's more of the skincare that you're doing, more so than this is magical and it's gonna heal my acne. Not really, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe. You're an esthetician, please let me know. I'm just saying. Okay, I think I have most of it off with just makeup remover. I was out of wipes, otherwise I would have used wipes and done this a little bit faster, but this works just as well. Okay, done. Now, just to show you, look at all this makeup. And you're thinking, wow, she got all the makeup off her face. 
<laughs> uh, no, not really. We still have to wash now. So I have my brushes here, I have my clean water. So we'll start with this side of my face. I'm just gonna put some water, then my soap, and then we'll start with this brush first. Just a little bit of soap, rub that in. You have to wet the little head first on any brush, so I usually take it off because <laughs> I don't want to wet this thing. I usually take it off like that and then I put it back and then start it. So I'm going to start it on low just because it gets kind of loud. Now you'll see on the actual brush head how much makeup is still on my face. So we're done with this one. My face has been rinsed. Now let's do the opposite side. Now, I want to take off this head. Oh, just like that, okay. I was gonna say, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that so I can wet the bristles. I do love how large this brush head is and that it has a gazillion bristles on it. I'm gonna say I am impressed with that. Put it back, you just snap it back into place. We're gonna start on low. Mm. Okay. It feels weird. It's not as loud as the other one. I feel like on low, it's kind of struggling a little bit. And I take back about the size of the brush head because this one, the brush head is smaller so I can like maneuver it into all the little crevices around my nose and stuff. This one is so large, it's it's kind of tough to get in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to use it on high because on low, it's like not doing what I need it to do. Okay, on high, it's definitely rubbing my face really hard. It needs a medium. The low's too low and the high's too high. Me leaving this on high is definitely like leaving me little red marks on my face. I can see why they said that. There's a possibility that it can hurt you. Well, not hurt you, but you know what I mean. Like rub it raw. Not raw, but you know what I mean. <laughs> That's dramatic. Not raw, I mean, maybe it can. Okay, we're done. My face has been rinsed, it's still wet, but it's been rinsed off. There's no more soap on it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my face one more time and this time instead of letting it air dry i'm actually going to dry it with this white rag to see if any additional makeup comes off so our first side is going to be the la side let's see makeup no makeup flip it okay now here on the active glow side okay no makeup either well there's a little bit of makeup left that you can see right here. It's not bad though. Now let's try it with these cotton squares with makeup remover, just to make sure that there's not something left behind. Nothing. The other side. So all the makeup is actually off, you guys. So I'm gonna say if I had to compare them side by side, they both did a great job of taking off my makeup. This one here though, I don't know how I would replace the actual brush head. This one, super easy, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart. For this one as well, in the beginning, I loved the size of that brush head, but after using it, I'm gonna say no, because I can't get around certain spots with such a large brush head. Another thing that I don't like are the speeds on it. Only two speeds. The low, like I said, is too low, and the high is too freaking high. I, I was scared I was gonna hurt myself. With this one, you do have three levels and it's very comfortable at every single level. This one, I was nervous about the high. The low was like, what are you doing? Scrub me good. Now I'm gonna turn off the lights to see if we see some <laughs> fungalitis left on my face or makeup or something. I mean, you guys can see by everything that I just tried rubbing on my face that my face is pretty clean. There's my, <laughs> oh wait, <gasps> there's shit on my face. Oh, <gasps> look, what is it? 
Which side is dirtier? Look. <gasps> oh, there's the zit. You see, I told you. <laughs> this side is way dirtier than this side. I mean, this side, I see a little bit in there, but it's not as bad. Okay, so that was eye-opening. I don't know what else can be left on my face, but we definitely saw something with this thing. It's kind of scary. Either way, there was more glowing things on this side of the face, which is where I use this active glow, and less on this side of the face where I used the Olay brush on. So, does that mean this side is dirtier? There's still stuff on my face? I don't know what it means, but there was definitely more things here. So that's opposite of what the infomercial showed me. So now let's write dirt like they did in the infomercial on my hand with this waterproof eyeliner. Once it dries, we are going to try to just rub it off with a dry cotton square and also a dry brush head. This is what she was doing. And I'm like, well, duh, hello. <laughs> There's nothing on that. So it's not gonna come off, sweetheart. <laughs> then she put on her brush head and it rubbed it right off, right? Is it rubbing it right off? No. Even with the brush, if it's not wet or has some kind of remover or soap on it, it's still not gonna rub this off. Let's try it on high, just in case. No. Now with the same cotton square, I'm gonna use the other side and put a little bit of makeup remover so you guys can see. It takes this right off my hands. Okay, now it's a fair comparison. In the infomercial, it was not a fair comparison, right? Okay, now I've wet the actual brush head just a little bit. Again, on low, let's see if it takes this off. It should. Okay, now that makes sense. So that part of the infomercial, I don't know if it was a mistake, a mishap, I don't know why they did that in the infomercial, but I couldn't recreate it here in real life. I only have a few things that I don't like about it. Where do I get my brush heads? The brush head is a little too large for me and then high is too high. Those are kind of my only complaints about it. It does feel nice in your hand. Now the little floating head feature that they brag about, I didn't notice a difference from this one and this one. I'm actually gonna say just pass on it. Wait until it's on clearance at the Dollar Tree because I feel like it's gonna be there soon. There are just so many cheap and better alternatives that you can just go to Walmart and grab. I don't see them selling a million of these at $19.99 unless it had some special feature, which it doesn't. So go ahead and pass on it and just grab something like this instead. And also pass on this one, overpriced. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Active Glow one. Vivian head. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product that you think I should try and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.